Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhoff here. Today I'm going to color my picture that I took of Morro Rock in Morro Bay, California during my road trip with my daughter. So I printed this on matte uh, paper at 18 by 12 inches. First I sprayed it with uh, a varnish two times. Then I coated it when that was dry. I coated it with an acrylic coating one time. Um, and after that was dry, th that means now we can actually color this with oils. This, these are Marshall Photo oils. These are dedicated oils for this kind of work. So let's do this. So let's start with the sky and the water first. So this is sky blue. Don't need very much of this. Cotton round. Pick up some paint. And then we start at the top. And then making circular motions and adding this paint to the sky. A lot of these Marshall Photo Oil colors are named after where these colors can be used, like this one, sky blue. Actually rem reminds me a lot of phthalo blue. So first I put it on roughly, and then after this we're going to smooth it out a little bit more with a clean cotton round. As I mentioned in the beginning, I, I took this photo during a California road trip that I did with my daughter. This was in the summer of 2019. I actually wrote um, like a blog on each day for that trip on my webpage. I'll, I'll put the link below in, in the description. And this was an early morning, and we heard the foghorn already, meaning we thought the the rock was probably covered in fog again. It actually a lot of times is, but at this point, the fog was like slightly behind it. It was like moving over the over the rock, which was pretty cool. And then I took this image from the harbor from a pier with this, these wooden structures, these pier poles in the front, adding some interest here. And actually the boats on the right, the structure on the left bottom here, really adds to the overall image with the rock in the background here. I mean, just a picture of the rock might be a little boring. Unless maybe it's like very close up and you see all the structure and structures in the rock. Okay, I took a, took a clean cotton round now. And now we're going to smooth it out. See all the rough edges will get smoothed out. And there will be less brush strokes. And, and we can do this because of the acrylic coating that's underneath. Okay, so here we're going to make this transition a little better from the fog to the blue.
you can still easily remove see I'm picking up the paint you can easily remove it still a little bit of blue on the fog is fine still like that look So by, re by removing the blue here, we're putting the white back into the fog. There. Maybe a little bit here. Still a little rough looking over here. Let's smooth that out. So now let's take that same cotton round with the paint on it already. And we'll add that to the water. So it was a very nice trip, by the way. We actually flew to San Francisco, stayed for the weekend there, and then rented a car and drove down the coast along Highway 1 back to Carlsbad, California. And so we stopped um, Big Sur, uh, along uh, several places, at several places, here at Morro Bay. And I think we stayed here maybe two days. And I think it was this day, we saw a lot of sea otters at some point in the bay. Perhaps you know this, but a, like a group of sea otters is called a raft of sea otters. And my daughter was very excited to see them. Actually, me too. There were so many, like 50 or something. I hold this memory forever. This is amazing. So let's change it up a little bit and add some different color to the water. This is um, background aqua. We'll take a clean new cotton round and then we'll add that some places in the foreground. These are oils so you can mix them. Usually what happens when you put it, when you mix on the paper, it kind of removes the paint underneath a little bit. So it's, it's better to mix them on the palette if you really want to mix them. So this adds a little bit of variation into the water here. So it's not just all one color. And then we'll take a clean cotton swab and clean it off of these poles.
Okay. So let's take the next color, which is burnt sienna. And we're going to add that to the, the rock and to the foreground here. I'm staying away from the edges. I'm going to do finish that with a cotton swab because I don't want to go over the lines. Although it's still all white here, we can we could remove that later, but let's do it this way. And here too. Here we do want to be careful. Not to go over the blue. See him staying away from the from the edges. The cotton round is a little too rough to work with precise more precise. And here it wouldn't matter too much if I go over the lines because this is so dark, so black, you, you wouldn't see that color. Okay, so now we take cotton swab and finish the edges. And then I see, let's take the clean side of this one. I forgot to remove this blue off the boat. Okay, let's see if we have enough paint to finish the rock here. Yes. Let's add a little bit of orange. Because this was early in the morning, sun was coming from this side. And I think we can. I forgot if there was actually sun on it, 
but since we're hand coloring it any any way we like it we can do whatever we want so I'm adding some sun warm sun colors on the rock And then maybe let's take some carmine, which is like a strong red. Don't need very much. Clean cotton swab. And we'll make some add some pink to the to the clouds, the fog here. So I'm roughly adding this. Also giving the impression the sun is shining on here. Okay, this is good. And then we take a clean clean cotton round and then smooth it out a little bit. And then it turns also more pink. go. That looks pretty nice. Could actually add some of that. Where's my here it is. Add a little bit of that to the rock too. And then also smooth it out a little bit more. And since we have the orange out, let's just pick up some orange and add that to the wood here. Again, it's breaking up that single burnt sienna with some orange. Done. And it's all finished. So we have Morro Rock at Morro Bay, hand colored with Marshall Photo Oils on matte paper, pre-treated so we can actually use the oils on the matte paper. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.